I'm not even a safe person anymore, am I? I just wish the past would change. Hmm. Okay, I know what to do. I'm gonna go and just find my laptop. I need to search something up. I just hope my mom doesn't see me doing this. I mean, it's 10.30 at night and I gotta be careful. But anyways, I wonder if she has any social media account. And she doesn't. Okay. I think she's not allowed to. I mean, let's see. I hope she sees this text message I sent her. Okay. Are you feeling okay? I want to meet up with you. I am depressed. And send. I wonder if she will see that text. Just a lonely year 10 kid in a school. Having really troubled problems. No. You know what? No. I'm not going to do any more searching. I'm done. I quit. I mean, it's been a month. Why should I just give up? Are you feeling okay? I'm sick of myself. I've hurt Daniel, and now I think I'm the worst person to Daniel. No, that cannot be right, but it's okay. Maybe one day Daniel will come to you, or he'll be brave enough to talk to each other. You're right. I should try talking to him. Oh, no, 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 no. Jenna is right there. I hope she didn't see me. This is hard. I'm not ready to talk to her yet. I cannot do this. Okay, let me try talking to him. No, Daniel, come back. Uh, I'm such an idiot, but she has been trying to talk to me. Maybe I'm just as selfish as I was a few weeks ago. Let's see if she replied back to me. And nope, it's just someone else. Someone that I don't even know. But damn it, I'm so stupid. Daniel, are you okay? No, not really, I'm never okay. Well, I've tried talking to Jenna about the whole thing that's been happening between you and her. Oh yeah? And she hated you too? No. She talked back to me. You're lying to me, aren't you? She said she was sorry and I think I know the reason why she was doing all these weird things. I don't believe it. How could you be so sure she wants to talk to me? After all of this happened for the past few weeks. Because... Uh, this is so embarrassing to say. Well, what is it? Don't tell anyone. I won't tell anyone, okay? <sighs> Jenna likes you. What? But, uh, okay, but you still have no proof. I can tell you about what happened. This is such a mess. Try again. You should try talking to him. I know you don't want to talk to him right now anymore, but Daniel's feeling depressed. Oh my, okay, I made it. Why were you running to us? Huh? Well, sorry. I just want to talk to Jenna. Is that okay? Jenna, is that fine that Carl talks to you? I mean, sure. I think you know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm going to be talking about. Is it the, the situation between Daniel and I? That exactly why I want to talk to you. So... Listen, Jenna, I know it's personal for you to have a breakdown from Jenu, and I don't want to feel like you have to be in a small room with an empty room that doesn't have anything inside. Carl, what is this between Daniel and I? This doesn't make sense. It will be in a second. But anyways, Jenna, what you did a month ago made Daniel feel really depressed. And now, I don't think he wants to talk to you. And I don't want you being alone on this one. I mean, you know, what would happen next year when the Gen Alphas come? No offense to Gen Alphas. I mean, you could be annoyed, but I think it's best if you be friends with Gen Null again. I think you're right, but what if he doesn't want to talk to me anymore? Well, I don't know, but I'll go try to find him, Crystal. Please try to cheer her up. I'm going to try to find Daniel. And that's why I came here to talk to you. Well... I do want to talk to her at the same time, too, but I'm a little concerned. You can if you want to. I mean, you can do it right now. Okay, but isn't she going to avoid me and run away? I mean, maybe. You don't know what's coming, Daniel. Remember, I've talked to her and she wants to talk to back to you. 
Huh. No, I cannot do this. It's okay, Daniel. You got this. Okay, Daniel. Take deep breaths. <sighs> you got this. Yes, I know you can do this, Daniel. I know you can. Here we go. I'm ready. Let's go. You're okay, Daniel. Just to keep your mind on. Alright. I'm ready to talk to him. I'm ready. I'm gonna go right now. <sighs> Wish me luck. Hey, Jenna. I know you don't want to talk to me, but I just want to see how you are doing. Daniel! Uh, Jenna? Jenna? Are you okay? Uh, I think I'm starting to get a little better. I'm not depressed anymore. I miss the way you feel, Jenna. I can't believe it's been a month since we haven't talked. Same here. Shall we talk about Jenna and Daniel hugging? Shut up. This just makes it worse. Well, I can't believe we're back. And there's one more question I have to ask you before all of this happens. Are you going to be my friend? Yes. And you said that your friendship is restored? Yep, that's correct. Yep. That's great. Now you don't have to come as much to the appointments you get every day. I mean, isn't that a waste of time? Wow. I'm Thanks, ma'am. I'm glad I'm friends with her again. Yes. You know what, Daniel? Let's have a fresh restart. Hello, Daniel. How are you? Finally home. I mean... It's been a long day after all of this. I can't wait to text her back. You know what? I'm gonna do it right now, just for good measures. Oh, all right then. Okay, well then. I'll just go and see what's happening next. Um, guys, you've read the title. I have to tell you something about how this is a true story. The reason why I made this video is because... <sighs> I experienced this a few days ago. That's why I made the video. You see, if, um, if you are struggling in a situation like this, always remember, you aren't alone. There'll still be a person to comfort you. So, there you go. For those seven and a half minutes, that's the story of how a person has lost a friend and struggles with a depression to get his own friend back to what it was like before. Okay, see ya. Also, uploads will be like normal and before, okay? So, have a good day. See ya.